Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up path based routing in CloudFront on AWS. So this is a scenario that we are going to uh, replicate. Okay. So we'll be creating two buckets, S3 buckets. Okay. One which will have images into it and one which will have HTML pages into it. Okay. And uh, we'll also define cache behaviors like this. Okay. So let's say if somebody enters path like slash images slash logo dot jpeg okay so he will be routed to the origin of bucket where the images are being stored next is when somebody tries with this particular path less html less index.html or home.htm then he will be routed to this particular s3 bucket okay so let's quickly log in to so let's quickly replicate this scenario I'm logged into my AWS management console and this is the Amazon S3 service. The first step is to create two buckets. Okay, so we'll call it as a demo bucket images 11, something like that. This, okay. Demo bucket images 11, which will sit over here. I'll uh, disable the ACLs over here. I'll enable all public access okay bucket versioning is disabled rest all options are okay click click, click create one time to create the second bucket for storing our html we'll name it as the same kind of thing which is bucket html 11 ACLs is fine. Yep. All good. Create. Sort creation date. Okay, we got our two buckets over here. I'll quickly upload the objects. So here we go. I've uploaded one PNG file in the image bucket. Which is sso.png. I'll quickly upload one uh, test HTML page. Right, I'm uploading index.html and the HTML bucket. Okay, so we're good now with two buckets, all objects uploaded fine. Time to create CloudFront distribution. We'll head back on the CloudFront service. Okay, open it in the new tab. So I already have one distribution created, okay, which is not having any origins. It is having one origin by default, but uh, for this demo, let me create a new one to show you okay i'll quickly disable this one which is not being used all right time to create a new distribution the origin domain will be s3 okay so i'll select demo html and uh, use OS origin access control okay create a new one so this is for the html for html okay if you want to understand what is uh what is access control then you can refer my uh, video okay I'll, in the description of this particular video okay. so click on create it has created an OAC over here. Okay. Everything looks good. Yeah, we don't need to enable security protections for now. So we'll uh, select this option. 
all right let rest all looks good we'll quickly create a distribution if we look at the origins we have one origin over here let's quickly create a second one which is for the images right uh, let me confirm if it was for the html or images that we previously created believe it was for the html yep it was for html time to create one for the images the demo bucket images here we have okay yep yep all looks good uh, okay we we need to select oac over here and let's quickly create one new create okay click on create origin okay so this was the access control for the images okay let me quickly check this is the one for the html because we need to append the OAC over here under permissions the bucket policy will be appending this over here okay let me copy the policy from this put it over here all right we are good with this for the HTML time to do the same for the images distributions origins and image one okay it is still loading oh no has completed okay paste this and save changes so we are done with creating two buckets configuring the cloud front okay now it's time to uh, define the behaviors okay so we'll be creating a new behavior with let's say slash png okay so it should route to image bucket okay next is you can keep everything as default create behavior looks good click on create behavior time for slash star dot html go to the html bucket okay create behavior and we are done okay now it is still in the deploying state so wait until this gets deployed all right so the distribution is now deployed okay it is available let's go and test it Oh, we'll quickly put index.html. As you can see, it is bringing this data from HTML bucket. Okay, out of these two buckets, one is having SSO.png file, and the HTML is having this index.html file. We'll uh, short one more request with sso.png okay so it has loaded this sso.png image so that means it is correctly working all right and we are good to go again if uh, see the reason why we have uh, uh, we have added a permission okay let me show you in the bucket policy right We added this policy okay just to allow the cloud front distribution okay 
to access this bucket. So if you if you try to access this bucket uh, publicly, okay, it will restrict you from doing that. Like this, okay, you you're gonna get access denied over here. Okay, so that you can do this using. Uh, I'll just show you. Let me show you. So head over to the cloud front distributions. If you look at the origin access, right? This this is where you can protect this kind of stuff. Okay. So earlier it was OAI and now we have OAC. Okay. If you want, you can head over to Cloud Perceptive channel where I have already uploaded videos for CloudFront Origin Access Control OAC. There is a hands-on lab over here. Apart from that, if you have a legacy OAI, okay, Origin Access Identity, and you want to migrate it to OAC, you can do it in my second video. Similarly, you can subscribe this channel and get updated. So remember, the channel name is Cloud Perceptor. Okay, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Do like and subscribe our channel. See you again in the next video.